Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Natural Vibrations. Today's reading is what is your person on your mind feeling for you? This could be for somebody who you're together, you're in separation, whatever you you know resonate with. Uh, we got pile number one, pile number two and pile number three. Feel free to, you know, st um, pause the video, sorry, and choose what you want. I'm going to see what I resonate with. I've not seen the cards. I resonate with pile number two. All right, I'm going to see you on your pile soon. All right, pile number one. Let me see if you can see that. Sorry, it's pathetic i need to get better things for you guys to choose <laughs> my sticky is all i had but let's see what we have here we've got crown chakra sadness and isolation so what is your person feeling for you right now i read these more as oracle opening up nine of swords depths despair worry hopelessness mental illness I don't know how I feel anymore. Yeah, we can see that. Twin flames, divine partnership, balancing, energy, awakening, catalyst. And I know in my heart we'll be together one day and that helps me trust. Let's keep working. Okay. So I am feeling your person and you may not be in communication or together at this time. Obviously, these are general, so take what resonates. Uh, but I'm getting that at the moment, um, your person is, um, is but your person is going to be going through an awakening very soon, or they are in that process of transformation. But right now, they're sort of os oscillating between feeling really bad. <laughs> so you see, this is the three of swords kind of energy, sadness, isolation, and then we've got worry, remorse, dark thoughts, guilt. So whatever has happened between you guys. They're really plagued by it. You know, they're going on overthinking about it. They're feeling guilty. They're worrying about you. They're worrying about this connection. And they're feeling very alone and isolated. Now, this doesn't mean you have to reach out to them if you are not in communication. But this is what they're feeling right now. But the crown chakra as well as this, you know, the twin flames card. Now, they may know the, 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 the title of twin flames, but they do feel a deep connection. And I feel like the universe is working them open up their crown chakra so that they can sort of connect with the divine more, connect with their intuition a lot more. So they can kind of understand what this connection actually is for them. I feel like right now they just don't know what is going on because they also have this open up card where they do want to open up to you where they do want to open up their heart space to sort of to this love to this connection but because they're stuck in this negative mindset where they're stuck in the worry they haven't been able to fully open up to you the way they are, you want them to and the way they should be opening up to you and i feel like that is how they're sort of stuck this is where they're stuck i don't know how i feel anymore simple they don't know how how to feel they feel sad but at the same time they're afraid of opening up they want to open up but at the same time they're worried about what would happen if they actually were to be themselves there's a lot of back and forth happening at the moment and i feel like they just don't know i think this person is really stuck in the head they really need a little bit of time to sort of get out of this situation to figure out what their next move is so i wouldn't um really expect too much action from their end at the moment there is this deep knowing though because they do feel you guys have this really deep connection this deep soul bond so they do feel that this connection is not over yet they do believe that in their heart of hearts that one day you guys will get back together that things will work out and that is sort of keeping them going so it's not like they believe that this is over completely, but there is that fear that I don't know what to do next. I don't know if I'm ready to face this. They're really in that deep, dark. I mean, we got two heartbreak cards, you know, and they're, they're really in their head and they're not doing so well. So if the only thing I would advise you right now is to send this person some loving energy from afar. If that is, if you are in communication, try not to be too harsh on demand too much from them at this moment. Because I don't feel they can operate properly. They're, they're not ready. They're not there yet. It will take some time for their heart space to open up, for the universe to help them balance their crown chakra energies. But at the moment, uh, they're not going to be able to do it. All right, this was a quick read, uh, pile number one. I hope this was helpful. If you like it, please do like, share, and subscribe. Take care. Bye.
All right, pile number two, this is your reading. I apologize for the shady ass posters. Posting. Uh, I need a better, I need something better, sorry. <laughs> All right, let's see. What is your person feeling for you? Love abounds. Ooh, I did also get this pile. Healing begins, that's good. Let's see if you can see these cards. Share the love. Lots of lovey-dovey cards coming up. You've got a lot of cards. Opportunity beckons. Interesting. Heart chakra. Jesus, look at the amount of green, guys. This person is in their feels for you today. They are really, really in their feels at this moment for you. Interesting. Sorry, I just want to make sure you guys can see that. Little OCD part of me. I know. Okay. Whoa. And the card fell, of course. Four of coins, material attachment, uh, possess possessiveness. So this is the possessiveness card. Oh, sorry. Being apart has been life-changing for me. So you guys may not be in communication or together. You guys got a lot of cards. Albatross, a good omen or baggage burden guilt. Interesting. When we are talking, things just come out of my mouth and afterwards, I'm not sure why you even said them. I feel that's a little bit of the regret coming up. I need you to trust me and believe I am working towards union with you. We must remember that we are gods and goddesses. And, the, and work to embody that energy. And lastly, you think I'm not listening to you, but I am. I hear everything you say and even replay our conversations in my head. All right. So this person has a lot going on. You guys may not be together at this moment. You may not be in communication at this moment. I feel right now something has happened that has made this person really get into their feelings. They want to kind of if you guys are not together they do feel love for you they have love here for you they want to open up their heart to you they want to share love with you they want to be together they want some kind of a union but they're also moving and they want to move away you see the amount of green 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 they want to move away from whatever conflict you guys have had whatever issues they have you guys have had they want this connection to heal they don't actually want to fight with you anymore they don't want to be in separation with you anymore um they are holding on to you though but the problem is that they're also holding on to a, the old mindset that maybe things may not work out you know where um where you're scared of letting what you have go. Maybe this person has something else going on that they're afraid to let that go, afraid to let go of their freedom in a way or whatever it is. So they are holding on to their old patterns as well, but they're also holding on to this connection. You guys have been apart and that has really sort of been a catalyst to make them feel this way. So if you're wondering why there is separation, it is because it's meant to be. There are things that, that they need to learn and they will only be able to learn that during the separation. They're telling you that, you know, there is, there's a spiritual side to this connection. And just because in the 3D, you can't really see that things are not happening doesn't mean they're not working towards it. If you have sent them messages, if you have said things to them and you feel this person has not felt it or listened to you or even communicated back, maybe you send them messages and they don't respond back to you. They know, they want you to know that they've heard everything and maybe they're, you know, they're afraid of opening up and saying anything to you because in the past they may have just said things which they don't actually mean to her and, and you know, in anger or in, in that impulse feeling. And because of that, they've ended up hurting you and they don't want you to be hurt anymore. But they want you to know that just because they're not speaking doesn't mean they haven't heard you, doesn't mean they're not, you know, thinking about it. I'm going to do something that I did not do for the other piles, but I just want to see if this person is going to take any actions towards you. Don't tell the other piles. I 
think at the moment they're gonna go within. I think they're gonna be quiet for a bit. I don't think they're gonna take too much action because they're still figuring things out. Eventually, you you know, they might be able to move forward and do something, but at the moment, I don't see them making any moves. They need to sort of sit in this energy for a while. Um, eventually, there can be victory here if you believe and you hold, you know, hold space for them. Doesn't mean you have to wait for them. But there is a possibility of growth happening after a little while because they need to believe in themselves and they need to believe in this connection and uh, they need to go within they need to do the work right now and uh, let's hope they do that so yeah that is your what your person is feeling there's a lot going on with them but whatever you're doing keep doing it because they're really in in their fields for you right now all right, pal number two, I hope this was helpful. This is a quick reading. If you do like this video, please do share and subscribe and like the video. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye. All right, pile number three. Let's see what we have for you. I apologize for the shitty post-it. <laughs> and if you like my videos, it would be great if you could please subscribe to my channel or like or comment so that I can have some restart my channel. All right, let's see what's happening. Aha, move. Find balance. That's good. You got, you're one of the first piles to have some action happening. Long-term view, good things take time, coming to fruition, harvest, patience, that's good. The star, wish granted, renewal, hope, yay, you got the best pile. Balancing act, you got two of the same cards, quick decisions, adaptab adaptability, prioritize. Love, the empress, attraction, grace, abundance, happiness. I wasn't ready for you. I looked you up online to see what you've been up to. My inner child was wounded by my parents, but my parents couldn't respond to me in the way I wanted. I'm reacting from that wound. All right, pile number two, uh, three, sorry. This person is trying to find balance and we've got two cards of balance. Now there could be some juggling happening in case they're with somebody else but they're trying to find balance they're trying to find a balance within them they understand they do want to invest in this connection all right they do believe that things aren't going to move forward because we've got the move card so if things have been taking a while to you know if you haven't seen any movement if you haven't seen any action then this person is going to eventually take some make some moves towards you We've got the wish granted card, which is all about renewal. So if you guys are not together or there's been some, you know, distance between you guys, I feel that that is going to come to a close. You guys will get back together. They want to at least get back together. That is what they're thinking about. They, feel, they want to take action towards you. They want to take some movement. They want to balance this connection out. So maybe in the past, there was too, give, too much of you giving to them and them just taking from you. Um, or maybe they were not balanced within them. Either which way, they definitely want to balance this connection out. They want to put in the work. They want to reap the harvest. They want to, you know, kind of take things slow. There may be some patience required from your end. For them to reach out but this is what they're thinking that they want this wish they do believe you are their wish come true and you know you they see you as this goddess they see you as this person no gender this is not a gender specific reading so just resonate with the energies but they do feel that you are somebody that is beautiful and goddess like and you know somebody that they could you know have something deep with but it was their inner child wounds that were causing them to act the way they did they just weren't ready in the past. And I don't know if they're ready now, but they're realizing that they're, you know, that this was the real reason they ran away. They do want to give this connection a shot, you know. It's not like they've decided, okay, this is never going to happen. They do want to give this connection a shot. And they've been sort of spying on you. Maybe you are you guys are online friends or they can check you up online or ask about you. But they have been checking you up online if that is something that is possible. Of course, this is general. So they do want to be back with you. They want 
a connection. They, let's, I'm going to do this. I didn't do it for this for pile one, but I did it for pile two. Are they going to take any action? Is pile number three person going to take any action? They're going to start listening to their intuition a little bit more. I think they haven't been listening to their intuition. And right now they need to start listening to their intuition and paying attention to what the universe is trying to tell them. Uh, they have been too much in control, so they may not take any actions right away because um, they are too controlled. You know, they're still afraid to kind of let the inner, the inner child patterns have not been healed. The issues have not been truly healed, but they're working towards it. They do want to get back together with you. They do want to balance this connection and move forward, but it may not happen as quickly as you hope it would, but they definitely want that. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. Take care. Bye.